Hey guys, what's going on? It is Summit Syndicate here from SummitSyndicate.com, bringing you guys another Windows Sun tutorial. Now, before I get into the tutorial, I want to get my message out there really quick. For those of you who have seen my Skulls of Destruction, Modern Warfare 2, um, Xbox 360 clan, we do have a couple spots open right now. It's for assault and sniping. Now, just a heads up, we do we just recruited a, a former member of Optic Gaming. Um, so we're glad to have him on the team, and he's been a great player to play with. Other than that, he's cool, uh, and we do have a couple spots open, so if you guys want to be part of the clan or want to try it out, because you're going to have to try it anyway, um, just message me on YouTube, put the subject as clan, and we'll, I'll schedule you in for a uh, tryout with me and the uh, robots and insane, the co-leaders. Other than that, let's get right into the tutorial itself. Now today I'm going to teach you guys how to change a drive icon in Vista. Yes, this is for Windows Vista and in Windows 7. Now this will show you how to change any drive icon that uses a drive rather or to whatever icon you want in a user account. These, oh, I hate this freaking pop up. These will be the ones that show up in the computer with the drive letter. Now this is not a fix or uh, for a missing or changed drive I icon that just happened out of the blue, but this is to replace it with the one you just, you want to, yeah, sorry. This is to replace it of the one you want instead of the default one. Now, the file extension has to be a .ico. It cannot be a .png. So, um, in the link in the description box, there will be a, a converter program. It's a 30-day free trial. It's called, I, I can't even, like, say the name. It's freaking... Pretty long for the first name is pretty long, but anyway, it's to convert a PNG image to an ICL within seconds. So, if you already have an ICL, that's great. That's okay. Now, let me show you guys the drive I will be changing. Um, I actually just did this tutorial like this is my second take. I messed up on the first take because I forgot to um, add in something, but I don't know. I just want to do it over. This is the drive we're going to be creating right now. So, as you can see, if I go to start computer, I already have it on there, so I'm going to have to delete it really quick, which I will show you how to at the end of this video. So, enough of me talking, let's get into the, to the tutorial. Go to start and search reg, edit. Register editor will pop open. Now let me just go ahead and stop expanding these folders. Alright, there we go. Once this registry editor is open, expand H key current user, and then expand the folder called software. And now in software, there should be a folder called classes. If you do not have this folder, because we will be creating a, a lot of folders just in case you guys don't have it, because I do not have about three of these folders. All you have to do is you have to right click. Go to new, and you have to type, and you go to key. This will bring up a new key. Type in classes. Uh, this is how you spell it. C-L-A-S-S-E-S. -S -S -E -S. Now, let me just delete it because it will give me an error saying I already have this. Yep, see? Alright. So, let me go back to my folder, classes, and expand it. Now, in classes, there should be a folder called applications. Once again, if you do not have it, all you have to do, right-click, go to new, and go to key. And type in the key. That's it. Just type in applications for that one. Um, so let me go back to applications and expand it. Let me scroll over here a little bit so you guys can see. Now in applications, if you guys do not have the folder explorer.exe, same thing. Right click, go to new, go to key, and name it explorer.exe. Once you have that done, expand the folder. And then Chances are, if you don't have explorer.exe, you're not going to have this folder. It's called Drive, so same thing. Go to right-click, go to New, and go to Key. It's not that hard. Um, type in Drives right there, and expand it. Now we're going to have, we have to create another folder. It's called C, because I my uh, my default drive is C. Um, yours might be H, yours might be D, whatever. Just mine C. So create a folder called C, or whatever drive letter you want to change. Then expand it. Then create it. The final, the final folder called default icon. Now this is case sensitive and it's um, it cannot be any spaces, so it's all one word. Um, I will be zooming in so you can clearly see how it's spelled. Once it's done, just click on default icon folder, 
and you'll get this default right here. All you have to do, you have to find the full URL path to the uh, the image that you want to change from your computer. So I'm like out of breath right now. I don't know why. I'm just I just am. So um yeah. So there's my full full URL: c user nixcola desktop drive windows icl. To change this, all you have to do is just click on default, go to right click and go to modify, and then paste in your value data. Now, if you want to remove remove the customized uh, icon, all you have to do is just delete it. That's it. Let me make sure I copy this so I can show you guys. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to exit registry editor. I'm going to go back to my computer, and you'll see. There it is. It's back to default. Now, let me go change it again. So, I'm going to go back to registry editor. I'm going to enter. There's my default. Go to modify and paste. There we go. I'm going to exit and go back to my computer. Oops, there we go. Fail. Computer. And there you go. It changed. Um, what else am I forgetting? Um, that's basically it. Um, you, yeah, that's basically it. Just close registry editor and there's the tutorial. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, because uh, I know some of you guys are going to have questions, uh, please let me know. Please rate this, comment it, let me know your thoughts on this. And if you like really have a problem that's need, that needs attention, just message me on YouTube. And once again, if you guys want to join the uh, or try out for the opportunity to be on our on our game battles team, um, we're starting to get back into game battles. Um, we're gonna start doing some few matches once we get everything going again. Uh, just message me on YouTube, and uh, we'll set you a tryout date. Um, other than that, I am Sammy Snick from SammySnick.com, and I am currently running out of breath of air, which I don't know why. Um, <laughs> no, no needs to call 911, but I'm, I, I can assure you I'm fine, I hope. But other than that, I'm Sony Snick. I'll see you guys later, I hope, if I don't die or nothing, I don't know. Anyway, bye-bye. Wait, why did I say bye-bye? You should just say adios. Alright, adios, there we go.